Never thought of those! Uh, Alright, win rates are up. Let's play some druid. Leaps and bounds ahead of you. Uh, Tolver? Boop. Shavara? Freeze? Yeah, yeah, that could work, Warfriner. I actually like Bark Skin, but we'll take a Noyo. <gasps> Fungal's probably better, but let's go Death Rattle, baby. Death Rattle Druid. Not this death rattle. Better death rattles. Okay, better death rattles. Fungal. Sure. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I like a little pingy ping. Attorney is premium. The four eight dragon. Mm, I don't know what. There's a four eight dragon. I don't know which four eight dragon say. Oh, Emerald Explorer. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. I actually like Ironbark, but I prefer Druid. This is a Death Rattle, but not really one I want for Wampa. I'm taking it nonetheless because it's so good with Infuse and Token Synergy. Take the Necro for the same reason. Another Druid of the Clan. I need, like, chunky Death Rattles. I'm going with a Board buff. Direwolf is good, but we'll take a Board buff. Famished is well needed, even though there was a death battle. These suck. Um, there's no way I take Flight Master. That's why Bad Druid. I mean, there's a lot of other reasons why Druid is bad, because the newer cards for all the other classes are way better than Druid. I don't think Emerald Explorer makes Druid good. It helps Druid, but it's more so the dragons you discover. Yeah, because you discover the busted dragons though, right? Not because of itself. Um, so then you're just basically putting Druid in a tier with uh, other explorers. Um, but if you remove all dragons from the pool, or 6 mana, 4, 8 tons with a bad dragon discover like you have in this meta is really not that good, I feel. Um, but yeah, it would make it better. It would make it better. For sure. Unfortunately, usually... Yeah. Unfortunately, usually, your opponents also have explorers in an explorer meta, so... You just put Druid up there and it loses to other explorer classes. Uh, let's try Flight Master. I just don't want that 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 death, bleh, that death rattle. Let's go DID. I need I need a good late game death rattle. I've been avoiding them because of Wumper, and I need it. Sin Runner. That's it. Take another Acorn Bear. Nice tokens. Uh, courier Synergy. Yeah, General would be nice, right? No Courier Synergy. Need the three. Probably. Forager is sexy. Dredger is sexy. Sporling. I'm actually not a fan of Stegodon. I know win rates point to this, but I actually like Sporling. I don't like any of these, though. We'll take a green jelly. At least it summons stuff. And end up without real, any real Wumper synergy. Ah, uh, but we'll take a Vanguard. Let's play. Hey, Ben! It's Master Ben! Ah, uh, let's just do a win prediction for this one, chat, okay? Just a normal win prediction. How many wins will we get? Two minutes on the clock for you to bet. And Ben, happy Halloween to you, man. I'm, I'm alright, dude. I'm alright. I'm excited for a little change in the game, hopefully soon, but I'm alright. How have you been doing? Are you holding up well? Uh, let's keep natural, but I'll also keep plot and try and find threes and ones. I like keeping natural. There's a lot of two twos and it's also a board presence card to help with plot. I really mainly want my ones like acorn bearer, but we'll do this. 
I could even coin two into two into plot into power of the wild. I could always power the wild plus two or something like that. So we'll, we'll hold one more. Where you followed? Mm -hmm. This is just so common on two. That's why I like natural causes. Um. Ooh, very nice. Hawaii, Denver. I don't even know how long ago it's been when you went to Hawaii, man, but you, uh, from, from, from little I know, Ben, you've been working really hard. It's really nice to get a well-deserved vacation. You have a few decent arena runs? <laughs> nice, man. Do you enjoy the meta? I think we just take curve play. Keep our plot for now. Okay, I, I've personally had some decent arena runs. They're just really sprinkled about and I still don't enjoy the meta so much. Uh, not giving myself a bar for how to perform has surely helped. Uh, Tidal? Sure. Interesting. I want to hold back the plot. So the question is, what else am I doing? So I could coin Druid. I kind of want the Acorn Bearer out, though. Makes me want to do something like this. And trade. Maybe come into the ID or something. Uh, 12 with a Sylvanas Pally, 11 Priest, real nice, and then Shaman the Hunter 2 and 4. Yeah, that's, that's kind of how I feel the meta's been kind of going, this... <laughs> 3 Vile Fiends, 2 Genius. Yeah, that's the thing, you can draft 1, uh, Ben, and go triple Vile Fiend, double Genius, double Scrap and Pabissa, and then you can draft another one, and... Nothing. You know what I mean? Not to you. So I could go squirrel, squirrel, power of the wild. Or just DID dome. Go with this for now. Gives me another test for something else, right? Also coin. Uh, first, next turn, because of counter, and we'll see from there. 95? Ooh, 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 so close, crisp. Yo, those, how is this even possible? Not so much special in this deck, right? Are the infused cards very strong? Let's take a look. Fiasco. 12 win Pally. Mm, give me just a sec. Mana bind? Sure. I think I'll just go with the rush buff. I know I can get more buffs, but honestly, the ability to just push 9 here is pretty strong. Oh, you went 12 oh Oh, good luck, Crisp. Honestly, I I I'm waiting to find out. Let's see. So you have really good 1s, Fiasco. You have good 2s. You have good threes. You have Warhorse Trainer, which is literally one of the most premium threes in the game. Along with Bazzi, which is pretty good. Call to Arms really helps your curve. A Cons is a nice out. Your four is a little bit weak, but double Merlocula for cheese. Mock Plumber to lock out game. Rusty super premium. Accuser works really nice with your deck. Your top end is super good. The deck just looks really good. Uh, it doesn't look that like, you know... Uh, how, how, how would you put it? It doesn't look like the whole... Uh, triple Yacera stuff, but uh, like I've always said, those legendaries don't make the best uh, decks. Sometimes it's pure curve with some synergy. Vine Cleaver, Warhorse Trainer, Dry Gulch, Jailer, Lost in the Jungle, that package is premium. Sketchy Priest, Double Merlocula for Cheese. Cons to answer, call to arms to thin deck, sketchy for secrets, mock to lock out your opponents, and then you also have Stormwind for your board, Reveler and Rusty for answering with a general at the top. 
Um, it, I, I would say the deck is good, but it's not that, you know, Denathrius, Ysera deck or whatever that you see. But for not having those cards, I think it's as good as you can get. Has anyone actually had three Aceras? I actually don't know. Should I even have done this? I think it's fine. I have too many minions. I have too many minions. Two Sneeds plus Ysera ones. I've only drafted, well only, I mean it's quite rare. Double of the same legendary, I think two or three times. Very, very long ago when, si when Silas was a new card for me because it's the first time Dark Moon was in rotation. So literally just a few months into me coming, coming back to Hearthstone, I drafted a double Silas Druid. Uh, once I was memeing around with a shaman, we played a double Azelina Soul Thief shaman. That was also pretty cool. Your first... Uh, I, I always say this, Fiasco, regardless how good the deck is, right? In order to get a 12 -0, I, like, I, I will always say this, in order to get a 12 -0, you have to draft well, play well, to give yourself the chance to not be unlucky to go all the way, right? Without the skill portion, you don't get there. With the skill, you give yourself the chance to get there. So you still have to play really well. You do need a sprinkling of luck to go 12 -0. I think that is for sure. And luck isn't, like, always, you know, the best RNG goes your way and stuff, but, uh... Something simple, like, you actually draw a curve, you don't start with your 7 drops into your 8 drops, and your opponent tempos you out, uh, etc, etc, you know? 3 anima over any 2s of any legendary. It would be tough, but I would say... Probably Hisoka, I would rather have Anima than at least 60% of Legendaries, which is saying a lot. Hey, Redal, three Sneeds during Sneeds meta went 12 0. Wow, that's insane, man. So I don't care about these two. If they have Ysera, I want Ysera, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Alright, time to smirk. So we may use Yosera for Nightmare Lethal, whereas they're going to use it for control, which means it takes them two turns, but our us one to get there, right? Where you followed? Yeah, important. That's why you always position it on the left, I feel. Uh, so this is probably Avenge. <laughs> That's you know, Bray. I was actually thinking about that like right now. <laughs> uh, invitation courier versus an usher is a cool trick as well. So if this is a venge, I main one of natural causes instead of courier. Protect my wolf. So this is important, doing it this way, because I get to kill this off, but then the natural cause thing actually gets summoned on the right. So good positioning again. This may be for going wide on board, not so much AoE. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, Fiasco. But also you could end up facing that one priest that has every single AoE in the world, if you know what I mean. Hmm, probably just courier. I don't know whether it's worth the double trade. I could trade hero power, but then I'm doing nothing else. I could take these two trades to keep a 2-2 two -two ahead. 
and don't make it awkward, which may actually be worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it so they can't like over infuse. And get these rolling. Yeah, that's a thing of another which is why 12 only needs some luck. What would you have picked here? Oh my, let's see. You get the goods. Librarian Wargan, good ones. Double Vile Genius. Maze Free Sketchy Gastro. Rafam Scheme for Going Wide. Fungal. You know, I would have actually picked the Duster. Why would you trade the Wolf? You trade the 2 1? Let's see. I guess maybe just the 2 1. Do I trade here? I'm coming into a refill turn. I don't think I care enough for now. I would have picked Dust there, Ben, mainly because you don't have a lot of token support for Genius. However, the second Genius always uh, works with the first Genius, right? Uh, you're also lacking strong trees, and Duster is basically as premium as it gets. I'm just going to go back in. Yeah, so if you had, uh, I'll put it this way, Ben. Let me let me, let me just think this there one sec. Trade trade leaves one, four, five, six. Three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so Shivara wouldn't clear. So maybe we just go with this. I could also plot hero power. Ah, that's fine, actually. Um, so if it was your first evil genius, easy duster for me, right? But since you have one already, it makes it a lot closer for me because, in my opinion. The first evil genius is actually the worst evil genius. Because once one pops off, the second one gets so much easier. Because as a good player, you could keep lackeys. Like, if you don't need to play a lackey, you don't play because you have another evil genius, etc, etc. Um, so, it's a close one. I think I do lean Duster because you're a little weak on threes. I don't celebrate Halloween, TG. Let them trade, we'll try and end this game. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm actually in a conversation with Ben Ivanovich and Tal about Hearthstone stuff. Hey, you d you don't dress- you didn't dress up for my birthday, 7TG. Okay? You, you didn't dress up for my birthday. Ooh, scream. It's fine. You did not wear the Borat Mankini, don't lie to me. My favorite. Okay, and hopefully we can use Sarah Nightmare for Lethal, like we said. Oh my god, TG, no wonder Sev was confused that night. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord 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 um i don't even know what to do here man what well, these ancient ones cost five let's see what the hell man dude what the hell man You know what's weird, Ben, as well? A couple of people in chat told me they drafted Stuart. Uh, Ivanovich faced a couple of Stuarts yesterday, and I faced a few Stuarts as well. I haven't seen that kind of few in a week plus or something. Uh, no, this discovers a uh, druid spell in this case, Mirana. Um, otherwise, I think I would have maybe tried it. So it doesn't say discover a mage spell. So discover in general is always from your own class. Uh, 
Ah, uh, cool deck though, Ben. Cool deck though, Ben. Sad. Yeah, there is something which says discover a mage spell, and so like babbling book will always give you a mage spell. Time and GG. Probably want a Nightmare the Infiltrator, but it's just game either way, right? And that's why I'm fine with them going for the Ysera, because that's why I picked the Ysera. Knowing that what they want to do with the Ysera is awakens me. I can do this. Cream! Thank you so much for the follow, welcome. You took a wrong turn? Oh. I was going to say, if you took a wrong turn, why did you give up? <laughs> hey, thank you for that follow, Cream. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Um, love the hustling and bustling of Arena today. Okay, a lot of people bet 4 to 6 with this deck, so let's take it to 12-0. Yeah, and it's finished because you were so hyped for it, it's gone. The one to it come out of the rogue has to. I still think that's a correct uh I think I still think that's correct though, Ben, to be honest with you. Maze guy is just so much better. Just mulligan away like you gotta remember as well that being heavy on twos also means that you can take more risky mulligans, right? And expect to curve out better, so you'd be able to more likely mulligan four maze guides, for example, which could by themselves win you the game. Uh, a maze guide into a bibliomite or a maze guide into a 2-6 in this meta is... Uh, is honestly putting your opponent on the spot to have an answer immediately. Now I want a coffee pill, guy. I might, might, might make myself a coffee soon. Ah, see, us talking about coffee made pill guy feel like coffee, but it also made me feel like coffee. But I decided to kind of hold myself back. But then pill guy got a coffee and may reminded me that I felt like coffee, and now I feel like coffee again. Runs out on me. Wait, 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 wait. Slam me getting none or too many? Wait, means too many. I understood it. I understood it as too many. Yeah, I know what you mean, Ben, as well. Uh, we could do this and kind of... the ping if they want, or I could natural cause that. I think I'm fine if they ping. <laughs> oh baby! Yeah, I agree with Nervich. Yeah, like that's why I said context though, Pearl Guy, like slammed in bed, very different from slammed at work. I would hope. I could actually annoy you here. Which honestly feels. Man, maybe. What if? It just feels awkward no matter what. So I'm just doing this. This looks like a good togwoggle game. I don't think there's such a thing, Vindrax, but we'll, we'll try. <laughs> uh, uh, th the thing with Cube Ivanovich is I call it card bias. Right? It's one of those cards of knowledge that when it does nothing, you don't remember it. And when it blows your mind, you remember it. And therefore, it feels like, oh, I'm going to do this insane combo with it. But a lot of times you have a 5 mana 4 6 and it's moot. It does nothing. Okay, so I am going to do this. I thought maybe we could draw 4. 
Uh, but I'm going to a hero power trade just to kind of make it more likely that Fungal does something here. It's simple for uh, Priest was kind of fun, felt so consistent. Uh, ooh, wow, Arthurina, okay. Double Dredger, Conjure. Yeah, good too. Sketchy Maze, Chaplin, Vile Fiend, Conscriptor, Anonymous. Not even a bad two, I would say, there, honestly. Uh, I was going to Fungal, but I actually think this is better now. They want to trade here, so I'll hold. Good threes as well. Void Ripper, Clear Conch. Actually, slightly lacking on threes, but I didn't see it have good for late game and Shadow Weaver Solid. Four is acceptable. Partner in Crime is premium, though. Accuser, Fungus, Scale Bane, Infiltrator, also premium. Trog, eh. Lacking a little bit of late game, but I think it's just enough for the tempo you're looking for. I kinda want to freeze this, but at the same time... I'm scared here, huh? I think I may just do this. And just assume they don't have Death Void. You know what card I thought was meh about Final Fantasy was the best card in my last Warlock card? Shadow, Shadow Worlds is, I think, one of the best Warlock cards. Um, I think it's up there with Mischievous Imp, in my opinion. The Shadow Worlds is insane. Basically always active. 5 mana, 6 10. Taunt. 2 3 5s, whatever, right? Ooh, wow, being forced to hit there is huge for me, right? So I could actually fungal trade hero power, but I think this is where we smork. The other problem with Q being situations can sometimes just backfire and lose you the game. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, true, true, true. Like ignoring it or life sentence silence and stuff. Four mana, seven, seven. Uh, yes, because they're also split. I think there's value to them being split, Bray. <laughs> You're talking about the OG four mana, seven, seven. When it came back to Arena, honestly, it wasn't that impactful, I feel. Hey, Zinnabiar! Okay, we're going for the value play. Do we togwoggle? <gasps> they have to do it on the 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on! Again? This is the second time today! Ooh. One off lethal, but we, we take it, right? We just take it. I could make this immune and trade. But I think we take the one off lethal. But now, Bray, I, I've heard there are players that have a 7.83 arena average now, Bray. Whoever they may be. You don't draw as a truth. Um, you don't draw. I remember Zero Mana so far, I think. I used to play Zulok as well. Soulfire and Doomguard. Oh wow, they're going for it, huh? Blame strike, I guess. Nah, nothing, nothing saves them here. Wow. That didn't even show the card, by the way. That didn't even show the card. Weird. Who dare summon me, Shredder? I used to play Shredder, man. In standards, baby. No, I didn't used to play at that point in time, Pilgrim. I remember Snip Snap now, more recently. Uh, I don't even remember Snip Snap coming out. Echo, Magnetic, 
uh, magnetic was new to me like a few months ago when it entered rotation first. Oh, interesting, Zimpy. I never noticed. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Like, it, the, the animation's bugged, but it works fine, right? It's just a visual bug. Ooh, enjoy Sims, Cruella. In case you didn't know, Cruella, there's, uh... There's my girlfriend loves Sims. Uh, they announced the, a new Sims. I'm not confirmed it's Sims 5 yet or whatever, but there was some announcement slash pre-release trailer or something. Enjoy your Sims, though. One point five? No, 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 five. If anything, right? Oh, you know more than me, Cruella. You know more than me. <laughs> uh, let's just blight bastard. Enjoy, Cruella. Lady Vashish. Lady Vashish. Natural causes hero power three dome. <laughs> you could you could do that in the newer ones too, Demon. My girlfriend always loved it because of building. She never even actually cared about the playing as much. She used to play, but say because of work she'd only have like a week every e eons to play and she'd spend like 80% of the time building and 20% of the time playing I feel oh yeah 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 that that is true I'm going to do this no way it's that much, demon. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I've never personally gotten into it, Bill Guy. The most I've done for Sims is... Uh, this trade, let that reign supreme. The most I've done for Sims is make really ugly characters for my girlfriend so that it walk around her neighborhood. And... Uh, uh, yeah, hey, that's, that's, yeah. Um, so that my girlfriend, like, gets these random characters in her neighborhood, and then she'd be like, what the F is that? It would be this, like, weird-ass guy lurking around, lurching outside her house. Double healing totem. I guess I just don't care about them. Undo this. Smarkly smark smark. Mm, yeah, because there are, there's, there's expansions, there's sets, and then there's item packs and stuff, demon. If I could choose any, uh, probably like a, a Chinese or something like that. To the guy. Uh, so they have to also high roll taunts here, otherwise we just got this. Oh. Well that surely doesn't help you. Chinese, Japanese I would say, poor guy maybe. Yeah, the thing is, Demon, I don't think it's intended to be a game where you just buy it all. You know? It's more of a, oh, I'm playing this for like a month now. Wouldn't it be cool if I spent 20 bucks to get these cool dogs and pets and actually add functionality to everything I do? Sure. Play for another three weeks, a month or whatever, and then you'd go, oh, wouldn't it be cool if now I have all these baby items I can add? Would it be cool because I'm playing a bunch with like 50 babies today or something? Yeah, but that that's the intention, right, Demon? You know you know you know how marketing works. <laughs> Alright, let's acorn bear these. I was thinking when the patch comes out tomorrow we might get a new rot rotation. Uh maybe Zinabiar. The truth is there has been no announcement. 
Uh, we have no idea what's gonna happen. I assume Halo's end event is either coming out or getting announced to come out in the next two days. Um, it may instantly just come out and auto-retire stuff. Last time that happened, people complained and there was a notice last time, so I don't know. Yo, Crypey Ailies. Crypey Ailies. Sub Broski Siskies. You have pizza? Okay, describe toppings. Uh, it would have been in the books for a while, Pill Guy, even though they may seem like they're not announcing it. It would have been in the books. What happened in South Korea won't stop people from doing uh, Halloween events, in my opinion. Um, it won't even stop Halloween events happening in Korea, let alone. It was a very sad thing to happen. They're still looking into it, and it's mind-blowing that it happened. But I don't think it will stop. Yeah, I mean, South Korean games intended for South Koreans, that... Maybe. Is it I don't know about global... Oh, a global game like that? Hm. I mean, probably they have the um, technology to limit it in one place if need be. I don't know. Just got the three worst legendaries in a row for Mage, Kel'Thuzad, Kael'Thas. In both of them and Dragon Con Ayana. Marin the Fox is amazing, Ivanovich. What? Don't you like hunting for treasures? Did you say Kel'Thuzad as well? Dude, Kel'Thuzad is amazing. All you have to do is drop seven locations and four Deathborns, three suspicious alchemists to discover you Deathborns, and a couple babbling books which will also give you Deathborns. Uh, maybe four cold cases to go with it as well. How's that? <laughs> Uh, we'll start with this because of wreck. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, let's put it this way: Kelta sucks. Dragon Caller Alana sucks. Kelthuzad is. A synergistic risk. And Marin the Fox is. Alright-ish. <laughs> yeah, they're not good legendaries, though. Ham, red peppers, cheese, simple but amazing, was made by your wonderful girlfriend. Well, thank her, Kripali, but also next time ask her to make one for me. I'll be over before you know it, Kripali. Also, cool picture, dude. Really, really make, makes me miss... Uh, Amsterdam, man. And the Netherlands in general. I've been to Rotterdam before as well. Yeah, 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 I've been to Rotterdam. So usually I used to fly in to Eindhoven the couple of times I went. And I'll pull up Google Maps because it's been so long I can't remember the names. I also liked Paris though. They're just not, they don't live up to the hype that people put around them. But honestly, I've always liked a holiday because I'm also spending time with my girlfriend. We can actually spend the whole day where we chill together and do stuff uh which is not something i can say most of the time so even just working around the canals and getting a nice meal somewhere is already really fun in my books you know so technically it could be a 50 50 lethal here i don't think i go for it though I could have started with this, because this could be Rush. Ah, uh, let me tell you where I went, let's see. Ah, uh, hello, not London. 
When I, I I went to Paris, I took my girlfriend to Paris, and there was the whole train strikes and everything. So yeah, I've been to Rotterdam, Eindhoven, Rotterdam. I've been to Amsterdam, and then there's there's like there's like little islands I remember going to. I've been out here, Harlem. Is Zellam Z? No, that's Switzerland, right? I'm getting everything mixed up. I've been to like a couple islands. I also went to the whole. Uh, I know this is now this is touristy, but there's the whole like clog making, cheese making place, Zealand, maybe. It's like a little fishing town, really nice ice cream shops on the. Uh, on the seafront, nice little fish and chips and ice cream, I remember. Had to go there by boat. Uh, it was a really nice place, actually. Just spent like half a day there, went with a boat. I was like this really quaint, rustic, oldish fishing kind of place. I don't remember, man, I'll be honest. Uh, but I, I vaguely remember eating some fish. And they're having a nice ice cream, the cool sea breeze. Mm. I enjoy. Leave me a slice. You sexy thing. Alright, acorn bearer into acorn bearer. We're against a crazy Russian and we're at 5 0 here. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. What spells do we have? Is that plot? Plot, power, natural cause. Okay. Nuts to you. Nuts to you. Oh, identity theft. Okay. I think I just go with this. They can freeze my face, whatever. They can freeze my 4-3 as well. Nuts to you! No, you! Nuts to you! Man, this, 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 this is a... Oh my god, that's minus 6 mana right there. Holy crap, dude. Okay, so I assume they took one of these then. So we'll do this. I expect them to have taken Wampa or Jelly, so we'll try and smog them a little bit. Quick post names for small Dutch towns while Kirp is away. Small Dutch towns, small Dutch town, small Dutch towns, horny. Oh my god, a sip. Oh, dude. Okay, we're going green jelly here. We'll pop off next turn. Balkan, dude. Jesty. You're just, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just telling us what you are. A TG comes in with a porn Cape Town. No, no, no. That's that's in Florida, dude. <laughs> oh no, dude! What a top deck Giga Chad. We're taking the hobbits to Borken. Taking the hobbits to Borken. Hobbits to Borken. Hobbits to Borken. Hobbits to Borken. This is so annoying. Kind of Giga Chad opponent does this. Oh, TG. TG is trying to get Kessie to ban him. <sighs> the pen is mightier with the sword. Oh my god, Violet Spencer. Oh, come on, Kerpali. I was telling them to stop. Right? Okay, this needs to happen. I'm pretty sure. And then we'll do this. And this. And pray they don't have an answer and then finish it next day. Oh yeah, I know, TG. 
No, 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 psychic scream, right? Coin. Blood. <laughs> Pepto's always here. She's always lurking, but she's rarely here. Alright, we actually won. Nice. Alright, let's go for the next one. Try and see if we can get the seven. Pepter. <laughs> Why does Pepter make me laugh? Oh, Grabali posted it! <gasps> Rectangle? Why you no cut triangle? Why you no cut triangle, Grabali? Sometimes you gotta draw him out of lurk. Yeah. <laughs> sure. He doesn't need to, but... Yeah, yeah, but you can make a square into triangles, you know? You just cut it like a zigzag. You know, just, just for, for funsies. I'll actually keep Famished on the Forager. Yeah, just eat it. Eat it all up. Mm, that's actually kind of annoying, but the Regio stuff is good. In Discord. It's in Discord. Kayani, are you in Discord? Or have you abandoned us from Discord, Kayani? Ooh, they actually don't play their thingy thing, huh? I'm actually going Tolver first, mainly because I want to get the freaking Forager Courier Synergy. Can't find in food sections. Literally the last post. Oh, it's in picks. It's in picks. It's in picks. Sorry, Kai, and it's in picks. <laughs> what? Kai, and he's already in TG. Don't diss my abilities, TG. My opponent has an interesting name. Ooh, that's actually pretty damn good. So let's try Forager. It does look delicious, right? <laughs> well, that's useless, but okay. It does look delicious. Like, for real. Oh, lightning storm! If they roll a ton totem here, I am going to cry. Healing. So I could rush the flame tongue totem. Which kind of seems... Good. Could also play, like, plot of sin hero power. Maybe that's better. This will be good. Now I'm really hungry for pizza. Gimme, give gimme give pizza. Oh, by the way, TG, Smalls has said that you are both going to dance sexily and cook meat in front of an audience wearing just aprons and nothing else. I'm waiting. I'll wait for it. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Oh, dude. How lucky can you be? You have got to be kidding me.
Dude, they actually get the blistering rot and the dragon maw, but the dragon maw's first, so it buffs, and it buffs from all the minions the blistering rot, so it gets an extra one. Holy crap, man. Take away my coin, okay? There's Vanguard, that's pretty good. Thing is, I could use this. Probably just worth it, right? <laughs> yeah, flying this carpet thing is... <laughs> uh, it's just, just funny, honestly. <laughs> so I got rush trade. Three, four, five, six, seven. Get the five out. Probably worth it. Oh, Russian immune it. Oh, that's actually better. Yeah. Good, good catch. As you can see, my client is. Don't fall Silence face? No, Ad, I'm not gonna do that. I need. I. I'm gonna control the boards. How I win this, I think. Yeah, Justy doesn't watch her party, okay? Some people don't watch a third. They only come here when Cassie speaks. Ah, that's completely fine, honestly. I don't really care about that. Good hero power, this. Drop the Womper for Sin. Probably well worth it. A little healing goes mm -hmm. That's fine. Now we can start taunting up and we should be golden. What are our five drops? These these are five mana five fives. They're the ones which summon Alakir, but uh, um, they don't do much else, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, I want the 7 to go dome. That's pretty good. But, uh, this is just excellent for me. And we can keep smarking. Nice. That's why I love spoiling these exact situations. Spoiling supremacy, yeah. One mana destroying ten mana. Ten mana lose the game seemed okay. To be honest, they were out of resources, right? Vidya. Um they they probably just didn't have a choice, so it was like could they, they could have just conceded, I guess. <laughs> uh thank you for the GG, Walter Gucci. I don't even think I have ads on going properly. I haven't had an ad in like 20 minutes. The forest fights back. Uh, two chuckles find curve. Ah, uh, one's really good. All right, Kripali, chill it. <laughs> Don't Zelda my chat now. Come on. Uh, it's a solid two, but I kind of like the brawler. They want a ping, it's fine. I'll get the trade in, which makes a four two. How are you doing, Elmo? 
How are you today? Happy, happy Halloween, Elmo. Okay. That is a ping, but I get this trade, which actually makes my minion a 4-2. Um, which is actually contesting their 3. Okay, we're against Frodo, by the way. And this is exactly what I anticipated here. Uh, the question is, do I uh, make it immune? Or do I just go double two? I think I like this. Right, because now we will top deck something to play next turn. It's literally Vanguard, which is unplayable. And then we have Wumper. Hydrate Falconas, of course, of course. Get, down. Get rid of this or these two? Try Probably these two. Oh. And I think it's time to get the spoiling out. You subscribe three days later, your parents won the lottery. Has to be legit. That's a good draw. I think I'd ignore this. The punish! Deathborn. Uh, but I, I, I'm just going for it. Ah, oh, Jesse, do you remember the day we met in a juice carton costume? Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. What? I'm actually tempted to Shivara here. I just don't want them to get heal. At all. Coin, Deep Freeze. We're so close, but yet so far. <sighs> Oh, dude, this is gonna be it. Deep freeze has to be an enemy. Kid's the perfect tie. It's like I actually called it, man. I legit called that one. I said deep freeze the six three, right? And they actually summon a random five four with it. That's so good, dude. Could have hit my face. Could have hit the two one. Would have let me push an extra six. Uh, which is insane. Now they can ping here full trade. Which is just annoying. Uh, the deep freeze hitting the 1 in 3 is probably why we lose the game. Otherwise, they would have been at 2. And we would just have potential lethals everywhere, right? Oh, interesting from them. I want to push every little bit face that I can here, which means I'm doing this. It's been all right, no, it's been all right. It's, uh, I, let's, let's just say I don't miss where I used to live. <laughs> Even though I haven't like really fully explored the place or anything. Any reach? Natural causes is reach. Okay. This is pretty good. Well, they could have done that first, maybe. Fungal. So we're just going wide here. Do I care about hero power? I think I'd rather get two one ones out. Oh, less key stroke by far. I'm not gonna put a shoe on my head, Kripali, not for your coin flips. No, don't dread winter. Winter's beautiful. Winter's beautiful, Nolan. They probably want to freeze this. Face. Okay, interesting. Hit the 4 4. What was that? Plot of sin.
Was that drafted? It was drafted. Top deck drafted Ice Barrier. Aye, uh, three T tree. Oh look, babbling top deck babbling into flame strike as well, right? This guy is literally giga chatting every single turn, and that's the only reason they're in it. Literally, literally. However, if I do this, the 3 4 has to go into this, right? This does also stuff so Because now they can ping trade trade, and the 3 4 freezes this or my face. No, but if I kill this, they can't get through, right? So this would have to hit here, which means my, my face isn't frozen. Whereas now they can refreeze my face. Ah, yes. Another randomly generated flame strike. The exit is this way. This is also okay. Still, I don't think it's funny. Uh, a really, really, really lucky deep freeze is what kept them in this game. Still, right? A really lucky deep freeze, and that one's from Lesser Ruby Spellstone. I don't have any thick cards left though. Bard? Now they can keep the freeze alive. Oh, they could anyway double trade. Okay. Do I ever hero power the water, Ellie? So I have natural causes plus hero power. Now they have to go trade ping value trade. Which means they don't need to use the water really. If I swing here, I go down to 10. They're one off. So they would then have to go trade ping trade three dome. I just killed myself. Why? Why did I just kill myself, Vasque? I think I actually have to do this weirdly and then hope to draw Druid of the Claw, Druid of the Claw. Which is more likely. Ah, uh, they can always top deck anything. I mean, they've been so lucky, honestly. Um, oh, interesting. They don't keep this alive. They just have lethal, I bet you. They're doing this for nothing. Okay. So, Jelly, Druid of the Claw, Druid of the Claw, Famish. Natural cause. So they can live at one. Power of the Wild would then be lethal. My god. See how lucky they are. They need four damage. Dude! Kapali! Thank you so much! <laughs> I love you so much, he said. Gifted a tier one sub to gesticulate. Gesticulate. Gift subs in the channel. Thank you so much, Kripali, for the gifted. Snap freeze. Okay. They are going for the trade. 
and the ping. So we have our own snap freeze and a... Oh wow. Yes, that's the one. Courier? Dude, order. So we just always do this, right? And always do this. Good. Thank you, Kripati. Three damage is what they need, which is likely, right? Chunky Todd. Oh my god, esports to the game. 69 even, 69! Yeah, thank you, Jesse. Holy crap, what the hell. I thought I was out of that game. EA Sports, why well, you have to be mad? It's only game. <laughs> if we still have time, Kripati, after this one, else I'll refund you, yeah? Survival. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Because today I actually have no time commitments or anything for stream, but we'll see. That was actually as adrenaline heavy as a Hearthstone game can get, I think. <laughs> Which isn't saying much, but you know. <laughs> and thank you Kripati there again for the gifted. So I was kind of like all caught up in the moment, but I, I do really, you know I appreciate it, man. You, you know I always do, dude. Oh, we're against Pepe here. Two. I'm keeping two three. Get out of here, man! Shit, I'm saying. Famished is good. We also anytime joined Druid of the Claw would have helped us so much. There, they were both in our bottom like four or five cards. Drawing natural cause earlier was interesting. The only reason that Mage was actually in the game was genuinely winning a one in three deep freeze after discovering deep freeze, which was already lucky. So lucky into lucky into randomly generated flame strike. Top deck into top deck babbling book randomly generated flame strike. Which is kind of insane. I rolled bibliomite. Oh uh, we rolled bibliomite last game, which actually helped us, but I think rolling bibliomite is less lucky than deep freeze into winning one in three deep freeze. Do I ever turn yet more of this? Because if I double trade, they ping it. Do I care? I think I just do this. Let them trade here. Get a nice little buff there. Ooh, Chasam. Thanks for that follow. Uh, the thing is, if they can't kill it, the value is just tremendous, right? Fireball, yeah, forced to essentially, right? Mm, interesting. I don't think I want a flight master. Yeah, Kirpati, because it hits itself, right? It's it's actually a really cool interaction. I think, I think it's well worth it. I know they can hit and just have a 2 damage to go into this. I think at this point it's fine. We're gonna Famished for refill. They do get the kill. Still think that's well worth it, honestly. 
Trade, trade, banished. Don't even need to trade, but I will. Sweet. Them being forced to take that turn five is a little awkward for them, right? Um, and now, now we're boiling. Now we'll play the game, right? Wing gates as well. Thanks for that follow. Magic trick. Uh, I don't. I don't. Shazam coming in with the follow. Two minutes later, coming in with the sub. This be our neck of the woods. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that game. I hope you're enjoying this run in general. Thank you so much for the sub. I, I really appreciate it. It's nice to have a new sub in the community. A little bit of ad-free viewing. Nice little mug. Nice little emotes now as well. Hold on to your butt. I want a smork. Oh, yeah, welcome to the lovely community. So I could rush an attorney it. And trade off my 3-4. I think is fine. I was enjoying the win. And I appreciate your support, man. Helps me keep doing this. I'm glad to hear you're enjoying. Hey, there's another flame strike. Um, we still have an acorn bearer, so I'm fine just doing this here. They just used flame, so I'll assume they don't have a two drafted flame strike in the top ten cards of their deck, right? <laughs> Get <body. laughs> They could have a blizzard though, right? As well. Oh, it looks like a concede, baby. Mm -hmm, this seems like a concede play to me. Hey, don't fight to be the channel clown. So Dan Fuller comes in and goes, no priest, druid. Here we are at 9-0. Oh. And we're actually almost in the 10 to 12 prediction bracket here as well. Take a look at how everything's doing. How's YouTube doing? Wow, we're actually getting close to a million subs on YouTube. <laughs> Druid can go 12? Yeah, it can. It can. Keep the 2, keep the 3, chuck these. I want better cards. <laughs> Thank you, Dan, really. Hey, take care, Kripali. Hope you had a good pizza. I want you to do so I can be part of the chat draft. Hey, don't worry. In the end, uh, we, we have chat drafts. I won't say all the time, but we do them sometimes, Shazam. And you're always welcome. Uh, you're always welcome to be here, come on by and play a little bit with us, obviously. Um... That is actually really annoying. I could silence it. Is that worth it? I could freeze it and then come in with the power of the wild. Actually, that's better. Watch this play. The next thing I'm going, I turn you and more immune into power of the wild. <gasps> There'll be still the play though. I could coin Druid of the Claw this. We'll see what, what thing they roll here. Toad Hunt. Hmm. It's actually kind of annoying now. Oh, wow. Okay. It's actually super annoying now. Do 
Do I still go with that play? Probably not. Black ice. I think I have to pass. I'm not gonna bob the zero two. They can double value trade. And I also want to make sure I'm testing for Noble Sack with something other than Shadow Weaver because otherwise the Chisel can kill the Shadow Weaver. This is a nice wave we have to get through though. Hey, Bonk here. Muck's annoying. Worst hit, actually. Legit worst hit for me. Um, Alright then. I was hoping it hits one of these so, so I'll come in with a silence, but now I can't. I think we have to take this risk. As you can see, I'm sure. my client is. Black ice. Just kind of be a little bit ahead on board and hope to actually draw something playable. Uh, four or less trade right, because of this. Unless they take this trade, which would be fine. We got a double value trade here, though. And even hero power. Oh my, this is this is a tough one, Vasque for sure. This is this is a tough game. <laughs> Glad you like it, Chessam. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay, they're going wide. Which is great, because I don't really have a way of answering this, right? Double healing. Glad they come after the fact. So I could double trade. Rush this. I could natural causes this, but I can't really do much else. Honestly, so I think we do go with a double trade here. And just play one pair. Sin Runner? Acceptable anyway. Um, we'll see. At least we've gotten rid of their whole first wave of stuff. They've given us a real tough time though, I'll be honest. No taunts? Interesting. No taunts? Need to kill this. Zephyr? Sure. Okay, so this has to die, I think. Otherwise, we're never gonna unsay their board. I also don't really want a druid of the claw. Now, how about... Man, sucks to take this trade, to be honest, though. What I could do is kill this. Natural causes the 3 2. And play druid of the claw. As a Todd. Man, this is, this is gonna be a tough game. We have Famished, we're looking for Vanguard, maybe Shivara. Even Shivara is awkward with double healing. I really need to clean up their totems, which is borderline impossible for me. Uh, we need stuff to go wide and we don't really have the option. Okay, 
now I'll go wide, probably. Okay, just cleaning up. Ah, uh, interesting. Trying to roll a ton, sure. Little waste. Hero power this. Bonk here, trade there, pre-hero power the 5-4. And then we go wide, right? So one. Could actually hit here and let this thing roll. But then if they have a ping, I'm screwed. You know what? No, I don't think I want to push face. At this point, I feel like I should be controlling, to be honest with you. Especially with draw in my hand. I, oh, I could have flight mastered, not dungar. You mean flight master first. I could have actually, yeah. That was probably well worth. Uh, we have the ability to not need it. Or whatever. Uh, but we could have, we could have played it actually, that's true. It's fine. Uh, do we have secrets? No way of getting secrets, right? That would have been insane, by the way. Holy crap, the focus. Sometimes I get hyper-focused. I kind of forget to keep my posture and everything, which I should be doing. Good games, though, here. Yeah, good games. That's their top deck? It is. That's super good. Because now they're basically back to full health. It's okay though. Uh, because now we can start with Flight Master and then we'll see. Oh. Interesting. Oh, dude. That has to be the best possible top deck they could have gotten in that situation then. No 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 other words really. Because now I can't even get my own spoiling because the attack buff hits specifically the spoiling, otherwise I could do this, get a spoiling, clean board, and use it to kill Onyxia. So now I also can't do that. Wow, high roll top deck, giga chad, giga chad, giga chad, basically here is what we're saying, right? Insane. I don't even want to remove the party favor totem, I'd rather you get totems than one ones maybe. Do I need two of the forager cards? Maybe I just do. they deal with this uh, maybe I shouldn't have even killed the attack totem uh, this totem sorry could have killed the healing totem instead there yeah they took away my only way of answering so now I can go courier forager and hopefully get double denethrius uh, looking for Vanguard, Shadow Weaver, Fungal, Druid of the Claw. Oh, they do go for the trade. Okay. I think Party Favor Totem should trigger first, right? Fungal, Sin, Vanguard, Druid of the Claw, Plot. Ah, uh, this doesn't have to be a class card. Oh yeah, I can't get two of it. You're right, they said. You're right, you're right. Uh, well, I can get Aiden after this. Okay. Which is brew? Really? Interesting. Drafted? Okay. That works. So we're going to do this and this. Do they get board locked here? Hello, hello. 
do we go for it? They're going for the evolve. Okay. So I think I go for it, right? We jailer. <laughs> nice hand. There are five squirrels in the jailer. I think we jailer and actually trade everything. Uh, yeah, but the taunt, uh, the taunt doesn't remain taunt. Three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I do this. How much damage am I repping though? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen. Honestly, I think I may just go face, right? I don't even bother trading. Just do this. Rip Jailer. And Smart, right? Eight. Eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. They need five damage. Make it just a tad high there. The ton doesn't block them, otherwise it's literally just insta game, right? I have to take the risk, because otherwise I'll die in two turns to a bunch of fatigue, I feel. Are they trying to trade? Because they can't kill off any minions, so they actually can't play anything. <laughs> right? So they can't trade, which means they actually can't even play Alex. Yes, immune removes taunt. Uh, immune removes taunt. Uh, otherwise, it would be insane. Uh, otherwise, the game would just be over, right? So, just like stealth and ton doesn't work, immune and ton doesn't work. Otherwise, they literally, the Jailer would be the most broken card in the world, Mr. Mike. Right? Uh, taunt immune doesn't exist. You can't kill minions, so that means they could never attack you. Right? So, that's, that's why. Uh, no, so immune is the card can't be attacked and or damaged or targeted. So since it can't be attacked, then taunt is automatically cancelled. It was good, hey? It was good. We had some fun, man. How was your party? Yeah, that's true, Jesty. Uh, but I, I, I've seen it before because I've, I've Argus'd my RBO before. Right, so immune means can't be targeted or attacked. So since it can't be attacked, then it can't have taunt. Can't be targeted either though, demon. You can't target it with BGH or Owl. Immune is rare, right? Immune is rare. Uh, we needed the Jailer there to win, though, I'll be honest. But uh, we wouldn't have needed the Jailer if they didn't top deck Fountain plus Muck Pools on Ixia. It means basically Stealth and Divine Shield. Yeah. Almost essentially, yeah. Except you can attack with it and it remains Stealth and the Divine Shield never goes away. So I could keep the 3, but I think get hitting a 1 or a 2 is way more important versus a 10 0 Priest, right? We whiff, but it was worth a try. So for example, a really interesting interaction. If you, Attorney at more, make their taunt minion immune, you can actually attack past it. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't trade, because them being board locked meant they could do nothing. And Mokpuls was activated the previous turn.
Oh, wow. I actually didn't know that, Jesty. I didn't know that. That's from a long time ago. Firefly. This is really bad for me, actually. This deck missing early game is rough. Especially against uh, decks we want to roll here, huh? That would have been nice. Let's play this. Version 2. Jeez. Did you actually used to play? I think I have to hero power this. I could silence it, but I think I have more important targets. <laughs> Alright, Tartolin, you're giving me this 12 0, baby. Let's go. Uh, bro, bro. Oh, no. It may, may be tough, man, but that's, that's super good. Bro. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, they're gonna heal this potentially, so what I'm going to do is bop and actually start rolling the green jelly. We need this to have like 40 attack or something and insta kill them, otherwise, we're not gonna manage. This priest is already mind blowing. Okay, I think I may draw coin. Wow, double roll need. Oh, Wumper. Yeah, I'm Wumpering here. Sin Runner. I actually was hoping for Acorn Bearer for once. Uh, Sin Runner works. Okay, sure. Freeze, trade, hero power. Annoyo. Oh, that's annoying. I could even silence that. Is it worth silencing it? Probably not. Is it cold in the shadows? This thing has a sin runner in it anyway. They're almost through their location. We have famished. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. That's dirty. See what they take. Okay. Uh, we're always scared of identity theft, right? That's that's just the scariest thing. Natural causes is acceptable. Trade. Okay. Heal. So we could value trade hero power to one one. Okay. Fungal. This one's interesting. I don't know whether to make this immune or keep the silence. Like, what's better for me, you know? Yeah. Hero power here. Draw, see what we get. I also have to make sure they don't kill me. Which is important. I got fung with hero power. This. Time goes short. I don't have time. Draw, dying would drastically reduce your chances of winning this game. Yeah, a little bit, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna try and greed a little bit. Yeah. They can trade here. They can value trade, value trade. <sighs> That's a lot. Am I dead? No, but very close. 
very, very close. Do I want to armor always, I think? Do I have any way of gaining more? If they have a uh, 5 damage face, I'm dead. But I have to kill everything, right? Because this will always damage me. So I think I have to do this. 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 Oh, I could have done that, actually. Silence it instead of hero power. That was probably the play. We will hold the black this be good. So I would be at 5. If they have 5 damage, I'm dead anyway, is the truth. This is it. Do you have the 5 right here? I will never but you shall. So this has to happen, right? First? The thing is, this is going to eat up a lot, but I think it has to happen first, right? So at worst it kills the 1-1 one, one. And then this would be 9 But they could end up with lethal, right? No it won't no, if I hit here and it hits here, this will have 9 health and I only have 12 damage. The chance that it goes 4-4-4 four, four, four and they stay alive, right? Take the risk. I wanted to kill one of these two, actually. Yeah, I know. The Divine Shield eats the Sire hits, I know. So now they kill, but I heal for 10. Double apotheosis. I think we go for a draw. Seven face. It did go seven face. <laughs> I want things like Freeze, Shivara and stuff. it's worth silencing this yet probably is right Time goes short. I don't think so Because we can always use it from immune. Double fungal as well, okay. Now we'll silence it, sure. We could also silence this. I don't know which one's better. Power of the wild, fungal. Silence, buff. Any minion immune, yeah. So I think we do this. One. Is. Hero power or just brawler? I don't need the power of the wild, so I think we just go brawler and do this. Shh. Okay. Yeah, so it's silence any minion, give any minion immune, even my opponent's minion. I mean, they have a premium deck. That's fine. 
That's completely fine. So I think we want a power of the wild. Uh, I'll figure this. I think we want a flight master power of the wild here. So one, two. Right, and then we can go bonk, bonk, and bonk. And max damage? No, I'll fit in a hero power. I want to start healing a little bit. Uh, uh, with the option of silencing, immuning their minion rarely is necessary. Actually, it should never be necessary, I think, in bloody. <sighs> Another conjurer? Wow, this priest, though. Sylvanas, double fungal, partner, cathedral, double apotheosis. Vilefiend double conjurer. Nova. Can we just have lethal? Shavara risk. They kill, they kill. It's actually a high roll Shavara as well. Do we have lethal? 10? 15? Yes. Right. I would still be able to hit it in bloody, just would absorb the damage in that case. Hey Hango, good to see you. They can actually. If it's random target, they can. You can't target them. But like, for example, Denethrius versus a Jailer board could literally mean that zero go face and none of your minions take any damage, so they actually heal for zero. <laughs> I didn't expect this either, Orange. Um, come on. Come on. Come on. I don't have 12 o Druid, by the way. To get it in this meta would be insane. Oh no, Hango, come on. We're at 11 0 now, though, Hango. Whew, we're praying. We're doing it, chat. We're going for it. We're going for it. Need another 12 0. Dude, I'm gonna... My YouTube's gonna be full of 12 O's. We have a 12 O... Uh, by the way, if you enjoyed 12 O runs, go check out my YouTube. I'm gonna say it right now because it's a good time to plug. Go check out my YouTube. There's a 12 O run fresh out the oven that actually has the Jailer in it, just like we played in a couple games ago. I'm getting a 12 O run out next week as well for you all to see. We got a 12 O on Saturday, which will be in the, on YouTube in a bit. And this run's going on YouTube too, okay? This run's going on YouTube too. I mean, even if we go three losses in a row here, still, I think those gains have been phenomenal. Oh, you know, deserves a sub and a like and everything. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Yeah, we've been having some good runs mixed in with some bad runs, Walter. I wish my good runs came when I was trying my leaderboard run. Walter. But I can't complain, man. I'm having a lot of fun memeing around and screwing around. And somehow still getting a good run in the mix. Alright. I mean, the longer it takes, the better, but I was kind of scared there, so I'll restart it. But thank you, Walter. I'm glad you enjoy. Uh, th thank you for the kind words. I'm really glad you enjoy it, Walter. Believe in you, your bet is 10 to 12. Oh, you've won, Jesse. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and play it out, actually. Because might as well at this point. Congratulations to the 22% of you that believed 
in the 10 to 12 wins with this deck. Well deserved, earned beans. Thank you, Ulcher. There are a lot of lovely people, but I appreciate the kind words. And uh, let's let's go for it. See, may maybe we can hit uh, 3,900 followers here on Twitch. We only need a couple more. So maybe double check if you're following. If not, drop me a follow. Check if you're subbed to my YouTube. Maybe we can climb a little bit there as well. Deep breath. Final boss, we're expecting mischievous imps on curve and everything. I think... Do I keep Forager because it's been good to me? Chances are that it's not necessarily needed. Let's stick to Tolver and try and pick ones. That's better. Value is good, but uh, odds to draw ones is pretty good to add. For the roast, my lord. And threes, right? Picking up a plot of sin instead, for example, is huge. Okay, so I like maze, but I think I'll start with a Tolver pre hit to protect my Dredge. This is where I want my Plot of Sin. Plot of Sin early is very good. Drain Soul Trade. I'll take that. Okay, a 3 drop. Forager. I'll go Maze first. Stats before value. Probably gonna have to forage our hero power. Okay. I'm assuming Paladin secret here, which means one month face, two, three here, unless I'm forced to hero power. Hey, Exoto. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do the, the whole testing around. Let's see what we draw. Shadow Weaver. Okay, so I'm going hero power face to test for a noble sack. Two, three goes into this. And we'll drop the Forager. So they could have Hellfire. This is a good pickup. Now you gotta you gotta play it when it's well worth owner. Hey the monk, thank you for that follow. That is good. It means they feel pressured. Um So this sucks if it's Reckoning. Kinda makes me want a Shadow Weaver, Hero Power, Pass. And then test for Reckoning with this. The play is probably just this Pass. Let's see. Take a look at this deck. Sure, Antron. Uh, oh wow, top end is insane. Double Holmes, double Conjurer's Calling, Eguin, Sussy Alp. This deck looks pretty premium, man. Deck looks pretty premium, man. Avenge or Reckoning? I'm actually going with a hero power here. I don't want to overextend into stuff, but that mage looks insane, Antron. Hey, Pavle. I don't think I silence it yet. I'll freeze it one. Uh, because I can always kill it with a Sin Runner, for example. Hellfire. Hellfire is a full board clear. Yeah, now I can bonk here after going face, for example. Face, face, face. Bonk here. Trade here. 
I can also do like a gargoyle immune effect kind of thing. What if I... Abyssal? No. Now how about... No. Black ice. I think we're doing this. A little unfortunate, but Let's try that. Coin siphon? They won't siphon after playing Wasp, right? Uh, that is annoying, though. Thing is, if I abyssal, I can't silence this. I wish I could silence and abyssal. Do I ever shivar? What if? Come in time. Come in time. My other option is Smark, Abyssal, Go Face anyway. This will be down to 8, so it's still a 50 50, and I play a coin bearer. What if? Yeah. I think it's too risky, so I think I'm doing this. Which is still a lot of damage, and they, they still have to swing here and hit one of these with the 2 1 out. Probably best hit for them if they have their own Abyssal or something. If they Abyssal, I Shivara. They Shivara. Tap. Okay. Let's see whether it's a Shivara. Shivara double squirrel, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shivara. I think I'd rather double squirrel. Or do I surprise? Do I gargoyle or do I surprise them with the gargoyle? I think I gargoyle. Come under my wing. We have lethal on board. They're tapping. No way! 12 old ruins, baby! Holy crap! <laughs> oh. What the hell? In this meta, I got my first 12 old warrior and my first 12 old druid. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here! Get out of here, man! Shit, I'm fine! Coma with the cheer. So I wouldn't say, we'll take a look at the deck real quick. And come with the hydrate, Jesse. So the deck had good curve. It really wasn't anything premium. Freeze was good. Forager did save us in two games, right? Um, Spoiling was insane. I don't even think Plot of Sin was MVP. We barely played this card. It was. It helped us swing a few of the earlier games, but I think it was a little bit of everything. Wumper with Sin Runner, Shivara for some clears, Power of the Wild for Wideboard, sometimes a Silence, sometimes an Immune, sometimes a couple of Rush, sometimes Refill with the Famished Fool. Even the Acorn Bears with the Gargoyle, just a little bit of everything going everywhere. I think it was well played. And really nice to get the 12 0 man. Let's check out the freaking rewards. Thank you again to Como for the 404 cheer and Frexin as well with 100 cheer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
And with that, this this is another 12 vote that's going on YouTube. At this rate, we're gonna have a 12 0 every Sunday. So honestly, if you wanna watch 12 0 runs like this, if you're on Twitch, go sub to my YouTube and check out all our other 12 0 runs. We actually have quite a few this meta, weirdly. A meta that I haven't been performing so well in, but really well in some runs. And if you are watching this on YouTube, whilst there's all this hype going on, check out these rewards. Which are actually a little Everyone bit rough. To the tier one sub to but, hey, you enjoyed this run. If you enjoy my content, then please do drop me a like on this video. Mo more importantly, sub to my channel. Almost 69% of you aren't sub to this channel. Let's, let, let's make it 100% of you all subbed. And uh, comment down below with, I don't know, how lucky we were, how well we played, your favorite game, something. All helps. And check out the other 12 0 runs on the channel. Or come over to Twitch. Oh, amazing stuff. Great, great run.